the Mr. Beast situation keeps getting worse. So imagine getting a message from Mr. Beast that he wants you to join his team. You fly there, give them an idea they absolutely love, then send you back home without pay and use your idea without credit. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Well, this is exactly what Mr. Beast did to this guy over here. So there's this YouTube channel called KOR who uploaded a video titled I also worked for Mr. Beast, he's a thief where this guy goes on explaining how he got scammed by the biggest YouTuber in the entire world as he pulled up the receipts on Facebook to back up his claims. Now before we get into the juicy details, it's gonna be a part where I'm gonna talk about how this guy manipulated his viewers with the GoFundMe situation. So let's get this. You see this Thai guy starts the video off by explaining how he always dreamed to be a YouTuber, but he simply didn't pay off after four years of trying. Cause you know, he was sucking cringy and all of that like me, you know what I'm saying? But one thing though, he's good at editing. And so he started coming up with ideas for other kind of creators and editing their videos. And so with all the hype he was getting, Mr. Beast reached out to him, offering him a job that he thought was a scam. February 2nd, 2024, I went snowboarding like I normally do. And I got an email in which I thought was a scam. I mean, for real, look at this. Even you would think the same thing if you got a random email email saying Mr. Beast follow up when you didn't even remember reaching out in the first place. Whether that's true or not, I certainly don't remember reaching out to him. And so he also goes on pulling up the receipts and recording his own Facebook posts so that he can prove it's not a made up thing. So when I got this email, I decided to give it a chance. I responded in the email and then I proceeded to post a Facebook post because I was so happy. Everything is dated and to make sure this information is credible, it helps it set well with you. Pay attention to these days. It's not premeditated and I obviously had no idea Chris Tyson would be such a perv. So there's no way I would make these posts in advance of like some kind of trick. I also have decided to log into my actual Facebook and show my actual email rather than screenshots so you know that it's not photoshopped. So on February 2nd, I posted, so I got a job offer from Mr. Beast today, video call on Monday, wish your boy luck. And so they stated that he flew over to the warehouse to catch up with Mr. Beast's team, shadow some employees, and see what's going on really there. And when he arrived, they handed him an iPad to enter his name, email, and phone number, you know, the usual stuff. And so he got this weird feeling that he may be agreeing to an NDA without knowing about it. So he wasn't certain that it was an NDA, but he would just wanted to avoid any trouble and stay out of legal issues, cause you know, Mr. Beast may come after him. So he was just like hanging out and keeping things chill. Then Tay starts going ham at Mr. Beast and explain the whole story on how he got finessed. Yes, literally guys, he got finessed. And we were working on a video. We're working on a video called The World's Most Dangerous Obstacle Course. If anyone's ever seen Mario, they have the floating blocks. And I wanted to see how I can make a, an obstacle course with those floating blocks. I thought about it and I thought about it and I thought about it and I realized it's just impossible to make floating box, blocks in the air. I don't know how you would do it. Logistically, it's just not gonna work and physically, I don't think it would work either. So I came up with the idea with a trellis net. Taking a look at this picture right here. So this was my idea here. I wanted to make an, ob an obstacle course in the air, but like somehow incorporate it with the Mario idea. Somehow just, I don't know, somehow do that. This is a picture that I drew for, for, this, for this pitch for this idea. And I realized that, you know what? I couldn't do the floating blocks. So I wanted to make sure I can do it another way. So I, I had an idea of a truss with four cranes holding it up and I wanted to be able to go across it. That was just the first section of it. Because if you look a little bit more to the right of this picture, there's like a helicopter and a guy hanging from a ladder and there's platforms down here. One, two, and three, there's platforms right there. That was just the first section of it. I wanted the first, I wanted the intro of the video to be something so outlandish, so crazy that they just, the viewer had to keep watching. So I pitched this idea and they absolutely loved it absolutely loved it so when it came down to our meeting later that day so we were there for for hours and hours and hours and like i said there was a there's a hierarchy there's mr beast tyler jackson the head writer and hoodie well jackson comes down there and we're having a meeting at nine o'clock at night and i told him my idea i brought up every single thing not only the, just this idea but the rest of the video <sighs> they loved it it was a little risky but they loved it. I text all my friends. I call everyone. I'm like, yeah, dude, you know, they feeling great. I got a verbal confirmation that I was good to go. Everything was perfect. I know about everything was literally perfect until I got home, until I got home. And that's when everything started to happen. Unfortunately, we have decided not to move forward with your candidacy at this time. We really appreciate you coming out and vibing with us. We could, we would consider you for a role like this in the future, but timing isn't quite right. This is where I started to like say, hmm, but I didn't say anything, not a single word until I saw this on Twitter. Just uploaded the most insane video we've ever done. 
go watch. Take a look at this picture. Take a good, hard look at this picture. Does that remind you of anything you've seen so far? Does it remind you of anything you've seen remotely close to it? This man, this company, his employees not only took the time to get to exploit me, to have me work for them under the false pretenses of a job that wasn't, you know, that, that they, they weren't available or, or able to give at the time, yet they had many people, many people go in and out, in and out. Now, mind you guys that we are talking about a millionaire. We are talking about the world's biggest YouTuber, Mr. Beast. And so how it is so hard to just compensate for someone for them work. Like, I don't get it. Like, how hard it is to compensate someone for their ideas that made Mr. Beast millions and made them zero. Like, this guy over here. Like, this thing is a complete garbage. Although I'm not sure about if the idea is original, because it has already been done and used in other game shows like Ninja Warriors, but I'm pretty sure Tay made Mr. Beast aware of it after he got inspired by the Super Mario game. And so, he should at least get some credit for it. Now, some people may say, you know what, it's legal. Mr. Beast legally had the right to do that. But guys, what's legal about it? Anyways, it seems like Tay had everyone until the GoFundMe situation. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. Because after he shared his experience with Mr. Beast, Tay put a 1.7 million GoFundMe link on the description of his video for the public to give him money because Mr. Beast didn't pay him as sketchy as ever. And so people went mad in the comments saying like he's a thief slash manipulative. You know, the usual stuff. Somebody said 1.7 million. Well, bro, go found yourself. 1.7 million fundraiser is wild. Someone stated, how embarrassing. I was really feeling you up until the go found me. Now I'm not even sure anything you said was true. Bad call, adding that in there. Never seen someone look so upfront and honest and then with just six words, I stood up, I go found me page, make themselves look so bad and dishonest. And so if you guys check the comment section of his video, most people were spamming the GoFundMe situation. And so with that being said, they did delete the GoFundMe page and refounded everyone, which I think it's a respectable move. He commented, I'm truly sorry. Every penny is being refounded. I wanted a way to have the people that rock with me support me. It was a bonehead move, but truly with no malicious intent. Again, I apologize deeply. All I care about is getting my story out there. I never thought this video would do anything like this. I was happy knowing someone knew. Even anywhere had a people and so this situation out of the way do you believe that now mr beast isn't really as loved as he once was more with more people calling him out for being treated and fairly by him and his team let me know guys how you feel about that down in the comment section below